Hello everyone, this topic I will talk about primary ledger, secondary ledger and reporting currencies. But in this video I will focus on reporting currency, later I will make another video for secondary ledger. Because all of us we know what is a primary ledger, most of us, or all of us I think, we have created a lot of primary ledger in Oracle Cloud a lot of times. Again, I will just show you in this video what is the differences between primary ledger, secondary ledger and reporting currencies. And in this video, I will create a reporting currency. In another video, I will discuss about how to create a secondary ledger. So let's start here. A primary ledger, all of us know that it's main record keeping ledger record transaction balances by using our four C's chart of account, calendar, currency, accounting rule as a subledger accounting either accrual, cash, whatever your methodology of create accounting as accounting method. It's closely associated with subledger transactions and provides context accounting for them. That's once you set up or implement the primary ledger and you start to implement sub ledger, for example, account payables, receivables, whatever, it already will be closely associated with primary ledger to start to create accounting for the transactions which is recorded in the those sub ledgers. To determine the number of primary ledger, your enterprise structure analysis must begin with your financial, legal, management reporting requirements, your business requirements to determine how many primary ledgers you will create. For example, if your company has separate subsidiaries in several countries worldwide, enable reporting for each country or country legal authorities by creating multiple primary ledgers that represent each country with the local currency, chart of account, calendar and accounting method. Use the reporting currency linked to your country specific primary ledger to report to your parent company, company from your foreign subsidiaries. Other considerations that affect the number of primary ledger required like corporate year-end, ownership percentage, local government regulations and taxations, and secondary natures. So the main record keeping of our accounting transactions is primary ledgers. You can depend on your business requirements or financial, legal and the management reporting requirements, you can determine how many primary ledgers you will have in your system. Let's start to know what is a secondary ledger. Secondary ledger is an optional ledger linked to primary ledgers. So you can have a lot of secondary ledgers linked to your primary ledgers for tracking alternative accounting. This alternative accounting may be differ from its primary ledger by accounting method, chart of account, account calendar, or currency or processing options. But for the currency, if your primary ledger is different than in a currency, you can go to either translation as a functional process or go to the level as a reporting currency ledger. When you set up secondary ledger using this manage secondary ledger task, you can select the data conversion. The data conversion level determines what level of information it will be copied from primary to secondary ledger. These levels are, there are four levels. First of thing is balance. We have a balance, we have a journal, we have a sub ledger and adjustment only. Adjustment only level only in secondary ledgers. You don't have adjustment level in reporting currents. 
For the balance, when you run transfer balance to secondary ledger process, balances will be transferred from primary to secondary. What about journals? When you post, when you post journals in the primary ledger, posting process will copy the journals to the secondary ledgers for the source and the categories that you specify in the journal conversion rate. During implement the secondary ledger, there is one conversion rule. This conversion conversion rules you can make a map. You can specific which categories will be copy and which categories and the source will not be copy. We will see that later. The third one is subledgers. Sorry, it's duplicated. Subledger when you run create accounting process in the primary ledger, the process create subledger journals for both primary and the secondary ledger. But because it's subledger, so it's related to the transactions came or accounted from subledgers of the primary ledgers. So when you run create accounting, it will copy and run the post journals to primary and secondary. Also, the create accounting posting process copies these transactions or subledger transactions to the secondary ledger. For any journals that you don't want copied by posting, as I told you, that you can change the setting in journal conversion rule sections of the mapping primary to secondary ledger to prevent duplication. Posting doesn't copy any journal that originated from sublingers. Regardless of the settings which you will put in the journal conversion rule sections, later we will see that during create the sublinger or secondary linger. You don't have to specify journal conversion rules for your lead sub ledgers because journal conversion rules are applicable only to posting from oracle journal ledgers as we said before if you select journals once you post the journal in primary ledgers it will automatically produce accounting or copy the same journals in the secondary ledgers and depends on the conversion rule setting of that journals and depends on the levels of that secondary ledger Adjustment only, this is the fourth level. This level is in incomplete accounting. It's representing that the holds only adjustment. Whatever the adjustment, if your business case to make a secondary ledger for only adjustment, adjustment means can be entered as a manual journals in general in GL. This type of secondary ledgers must share the same chart of account, counting calendar period type and the currency as the associated primary linger. It is incomplete accounting representations. It's hold only adjustments. No sub ledger, no balance, no journal. To obtain complete secondary ledger accounting representing that include post transaction debt and adjustments, you have to use the ledger set to combine the ledgers when running reports. Also in our session today of reporting currency we will talk about the ledger set. It's a very important step during implement your reporting currency and secondary ledger. This is the third option here as a reporting currency. Reporting currency maintain and report accounting transactions in additional currencies. So if you need to represent the, the main counting of your primary ledger in a different currency you have two options either reporting currency or translation the translation functions you can translate but what is the difference between translate and reporting currency in reporting currency you have three levels balance translate balances translate journals translate subledgers you don't have adjustment level like secondary ledger. Also, translate only translate the amount. 
it will translate balance amount but for the reporting currency we said you can translate journals you can translate balance also you can translate bleacher transactions so this is a difference between translate and uh, reporting currency before deciding as we said before each primary and secondary ledger is defined with a ledger currency that's used to record your business transactions and accounting date for that ledgers what does it mean it means is that for primary ledger you can assign a reporting currency how many reporting currency you can assign there is no limitations but oracle recommended from six to eight reporting currency it is recommended by oracle to assign at least or up to eight reporting currency if you more than it it will affect the performance oh, here best practice that you maintain the ledger in the currency in which is the majority of its transactions are demonated for example create record close in the same currency to save processing and reconciliation time Complaints such as being local transaction taxes is also either using a local transaction or so, sorry local currency. Many countries requires that your accounting record be kept in their national currency and also it depends on your organization business requirement. If you maintain and reporting accounting record in different currency, you disease by defining one or more reporting currency. When you set up, you use your reporting currency task, you select currency conversion level. We said that there are three levels. Balance, journal, subledger. The balance, when you run translate journal or general ledger account balance process, balance are transferred from specified ledger to the reporting currency and converted. For the journals, when you post the journals like secondary ledgers, it will copy the journals to the reporting currency and we will see this later. Once you create a journals in primary ledgers and post it and if you enable the approvals, it must be approved before posting, then posting, the journals will be copies the same journals to reporting currency in the same period but in a different uh, currency it depends on the currency of the reporting currencies and it depends on the rate which you will define during the setup of reporting currencies uh, subledger when you run create accounting the same this level subledger means subledger as a create accounting in primary ledger the process will create the same for post primary and reporting currency when you run post journal process in the primary ledgers for journals that are created through methods other than the create accounting process the process or the posting process also will be copies the primary ledger journals to reporting currents for any journals that you don't want to copy it by posting also you can manage this during the implementing of reporting currency in the journal conversion rule sections we will see it later a full accounting representation of your primary ledger is maintained in any subledger level reporting currency. Secondary ledger cannot use subledger level reporting currency. Secondary ledger cannot use subledger level reporting currencies. Don't use journal or subledger level reporting currency if your organization translates your financial statement to your parent company's currency for consolidation purposes. As we said before, standard translation functionality meets these needs. Again, maybe this is like what is uh, like. Uh, interview questions in which case you can use translation functionality instead of reporting currency like this case consider using journal subledger level reporting currency when any of the following condition exist most of people asking in which case i can use reporting currency in which case i have to use standard translation functionality this slide of our presentations answer like these questions first of all you operate in a country whose 
unstable currency makes it unsuitable for managing your business as consequence you manage your business in more stable currency in this case with the unstable local currency you have to decide to make a reporting currency what else you operate in a country that's part of emu european economic and monetary and you select to account and report in both the emu currency and your national currency unit in this case you have to build another reporting currency with your national currency unit and one for european union currency before to know how balances for reporting currency are calculated let's get into software as oracle cloud to show you how to set up reporting currency how to make example for journals for examples and how to to know the full steps to build a reporting currency let's get into our software here as you know i am logging here i just go to setup and maintenance By the way, you already implemented your primary ledgers and now you are going to create a reporting currency. Just write reporting or whatever you need. Reporting currency, reporting only currencies. Just click enter. Here you will see manage reporting currency. In some cases, you will notice that there are two manage reporting currency there are two manage secondary ledger what does it mean does it mean that maybe you define a secondary ledgers in this case you will notice that manage reporting currency is appears two times one for the primary ledger one for secondary ledgers and as i saw i told you before that you can define a prime a secondary or sorry a reporting currency for secondary ledger as well primary ledger so I will select one of them here the scope the scope either you put primary ledger or secondary ledger this depends what you are going to do as you see here manage reporting currency for primary ledger one secondary for primary here another but for secondary ledgers and you will notice also uh, reporting uh, secondary ledger for whatever you Put it so reporting currency for primary ledger or secondary ledger it depends on your business requirement in my case i'm going to create a reporting currency to my primary ledger what is the difference if i am going to create a reporting currency to primary ledger different than secondary ledger no difference is the same way so once you select the scope as primary ledger click on manage reporting currency you will find whatever the reporting currency you defined before instead of that i will define one but as i told you it's recommended by oracle to define up to eight reporting currencies if you add more eight it will affect the performance so let's click create What is the name of this reporting currency? I will make GBB for example reporting currency. What is the conversion level? As we said before, we have balance, we have journal, we have sub ledger. Once you select balance, it's up the configuration up to the period average rate, period end rate. But if you select journals or sub ledgers, you will find more setup areas will be appear here for example in this my test case i will make a currency conversion level at journal journal means any journals will be created in my primary ledger direct either a spreadsheet manual uh, uh, integration with third party any of these once you posted these ledgers in your primary ledger this will this journal with co will copies in your uh, or our reporting currency in our 
currency like GBB here. Okay, but the description I will make the same. As I told you, once you select journal or sub ledger, you will find another areas that what is the journal conversion rules, what is the balance initialization, and sequencing if you are going to make a sequence for the ledgers or no sequence in your reporting currency. If you select no sequence, it will be none, or ledgers if you need to make sequencing by ledger like primary ledger let's go up so what is the name description currency conversion i select the journal what is our currency currency of reporting currency okay what is the first period i select june you can select whatever period you need what is the rounding account you can select the rounding accounting here or not it's optional what is the re-evaluations if you are going to make re-evaluations you can select Evaluation basis depends on the entered currencies or primary ledger currency. Are you going to enable journal approval in your reporting currency? Yes or no? This is up to your business requirement. Like a primary ledgers, once you enable, you have to build your approval, like PBM or spreadsheets, like our previous video. Currency translation options what is the default conversion rate what does it mean that we have a, a gbb here and we have like uh, indian ruby in our primary linkers so what is the conversion rate i will select corporate i will select search I will select corporate retain transaction rate type are you going to select yes to retain the rate type entered in transaction to convert the same transaction to the reporting currency or not yes or no I will say no for the error handling if the system doesn't find the rate it will use last rate it will give you error I select it give me error to check that the error almost is please define the conversion rate between your gbb and your primary ledger currency okay here as i told you before what is the journal source and journal category you will not convert it to the reporting currency here you can select whatever the journal source i just need to select only manual uh, journal source or category only spreadsheet and the other the others no or other other yes and closing journal yes or no this is depends also on your requirement this when we talked before that you can manage which journal source which journal category will be converted to your reporting currency ledger what is the balance initializations i don't know what is this but for the sequencing as i told you you can sequence by ledger no sequence payable receivables and so on that's it that's it once you entered all of these you can select save to check whatever is there any missing or is there any required and once you saved here our Reporting currency name, currency. What is the currency conversion level, and what is the ledger ID? It's automatic by the ledger. Once you define your reporting currency, you have to do. The second step is to define conversion rate between the currency of your primary ledger and the currency of the reporting currency. So we have GBB reporting currency we have INR of our primary image so I just duplicate it and we'll use the same save and close just click or search by rate and define or manage daily rate here I will 
manage daily rate I will use define through spreadsheet creating a spreadsheet once it's downloaded I just make an clock apply and try to open it will ask you make to connect okay I will connect just enter your user ID and password and try to sign in it will give you the information to define the conversion rate from which currency we select GBP to INR you can go to down HI what is the conversion rate you will select our corporate because we select our this conversion rate in the fine of reporting currency from conversion date to conversion date I will put from one one two thousand twenty four to thirty one July twenty four. What is the conversion rate? I will put for example uh, twenty. That's it. Click submit. Must give you row inserted successfully here. Else, it will give you error. Okay record inserted successfully there is one request has been submitted you can wait it or not okay so once you define reporting currency you have to define the rates between reporting currency currency and primary ledger currency what is the second step done second step you have to open the period in reporting currency but before that you have to define this reporting currency in data ledger set and as give your access to your username to that primary or reporting currency for example I already defined ledger set before for our primary ledger you will find it and add your reporting currency in that this is our ledger set ls I can come here and add my another reporting currency as GBB just I search GBB or sorry GBB search GBB reporting currency yes ledger blah 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 save okay save and close to open the periods in reporting currency you have to access so you have to add that access set to your username then you can go to open closed period in reporting currency to open the periods so I will click on done and I just search that access set for users manage data access for users I go to to add here just write my what is the rule general accounting whatever accounting management accounted whatever but it must be accounting manager and here I will select GBB or I can search or I can write it so I can write uh, GBB tab RC save and close done you can run LDAP from initial users 
as to rule synchronization process or you can go to journals where is general accounting here journals before of that just here euro once you change it you have to find reporting currency gbb gbb reporting currency else you have to run ldap sign out sign in one more time and check it so now i am going to open and close period in our reporting currency just period close change what is reporting currency okay you can also select it from here to go to general ledger open and close this is open it's not or never open what is the last you will find here june june yes open or you can go to setup maintenance and select first open period and select your ledger as a reporting currency and open it now it's still in process you just make refresh it now it's open just go to july and also open it again if you don't open the period in reporting currency once you make a journal in primary ledger and they try to post it it will give you error what is the error message you will be there please open the period in reporting currency nature that's it that's it now i'm going to create a journal in g our primary ledger once i create it i try to post one once i post i will go to our reporting currency to check if it copied and transferred or not our primary ledger okay the same normal i will create it manually because i select my conversion rate or sorry conversion level is reporting or journal create a journal this is a normal process here to select the periods what is debit here i will select it reporting currency gv1 the same in description the july what is the journal the same description here in the period blah 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 what is the accounting i will select my segments values company department account this one these two for example finance for example account is expenses whatever okay so here the currency is INR Indian Ruby as you see here and our period is July here Indian Ruby so I will put here for example 10,000 and go to the other or the second line to balance the journal I will select a different account or the same whatever to be credited our company our department our account segment for example i will select as sales and i will select revenue or sales okay and put the credit 10,000 Indian Ruby once you entered whatever debit credit whatever descriptions whatever required fields go to save if you enabled approval it must be approved first if you make or enable the budgetary control you have to check fund once you post or complete 
the system will be automatically check found and once it's check found successfully it will go to approval cycle once I created I will make a post or complete or whatever select for posting there is one request running for posting has been submitted I can click cancel here and select to check the status of this journal Ferris in our primary ledger just go to manage journals you can search by period by journal patch name whatever descriptions just I will put our patch name what is the period search you will find it's posted posted to time because one of our uh, or three time I think one for our primary and second for our GBB now let's change it to our reporting currency as a GBB reporting currency just click here reporting currency go July in the same period search you will find our journals copied from our primary to our reporting currency once you click on it you will find everything what is the source what is the category what is the journal input here GBP reporting currency everything the same there but here 10,000 and conversion rate is like this because we bought it I think 20 and uh, from GBB to uh, to Indian rupee, but the vice versa will be 0 0.05. So the GBB will be 500 Indian rupee, the same as we entered the 10,000. Same everything, and this is the journals immediately posted and created directly to the reporting currency. This is how to EBA. First, you have to define your reporting currency. You have to decide which level, ledger, balance, balance, uh, journal, whatever. And you have to give your access to ledger set and the data access set to your reporting currency and open the periods in the reporting currency and start to enter either sub ledger level or uh, journal level or balance. But in case of you need to use balance, you can use translation standard translation functionality this is the setup here and let's back to our slide how balance is reporting reporting currency balances set as journal sub ledger are updated when journal ledger are posted we already see that this process we said that journal ledger manual journals periodic journals allocations as a sub ledger only journal from sub ledger accounting other journals imported from sources other than your Oracle version, as we said, third party or legacy system or whatever. When you post one or more reporting currencies, define the posting process. If you notice that there are two GBB because there are two reporting currency GBB created for the same primary ledger. Create journal converted and include them in the same batch as the original with the status of the post. Thanks for watching. Inshallah, next time I will talk about secondary literature. Thank you.